Hi children, this is the science work for Tuesday the 12th of May. Now there's a choice of two activities. Uh, you can either choose each, either one or you complete both. The first one is to look at the differences between mains and battery powered circuits. So you can look at the slides, read, try and understand. Maybe you want to go through it. it tells us about uh, mains electricity and the dangers. So we read it, look at the labeling. And then there's a list of things here, which of these appliances use mains electricity and which are powered by batteries. So you can put them into two groups. Uh, we're looking at the advantages of powering objects uh, with a battery to make them portable so that we can make them mobile. They can move around. Whereas mains electricity, you got to stay uh, near a plug socket. Anyway, we've got some activities for you to do. There's worksheets 2A or 2B. Um, you can look around and write down as many objects as you can that use mains electricity and ones that use batteries. So write down the object, mains or battery, and why. Why do you think so? And then we got, a, we really like to get as many posters about the dangers of electricity, which kind of leads on to this lesson. Um, and we're going to make an electrical safety poster. Choose one safety issue to focus on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different uh, areas that you can just focus on. Not overloading plugs, not using anything with broken wires, never put anything in sockets, don't leave wires trailing across the floor, don't touch electrical things with wet hands, don't take electrical devices near water, don't have drinks near electrical devices. All these issues you've probably been told about, but for you to help uh, yourselves, there's this really good link here, Switched On Kids. And also you've got a BBC uh, clip called Electro Mouse Safety Clip, which is fantastic. So for this one, with the Switched On Kids, I've just got it up here on the whiteboard. It says, look around the house for electrical dangers. So you can go and visit uh, different house, different rooms in the house or in the garden. So we go to bedroom, go through the door, and then we go to the bedroom. So you can survey what's happening. If you see something that's not right, then you should click it. So we want to do here, maybe there's some clues where it might be wobbling. Here we go. Danger, never stick anything into the holes of a socket you could get an electrical so shock. So I found one. So I found one, dangerous found, one out of seven. So I've got to find six more. Anyway, when you've done the bedroom, you can go into another room. And there you are, you can choose. See if you can visit all the rooms in the house. Okay, and I really like to have some great posters about the dangers of electricity. Um, and if you look at some of the advice on here, what does your safety poster need to include? It doesn't have to have lots of writing, but it has to have key words. It's got to attract passers-by. Okay, good luck there.